Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November to, uh, 12th to November 18th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Virgo star sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, um, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it forces you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that is that will be a subject to a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. <clears throat> And as the end of the year celebrations are coming around, they are looming on the horizon, there is a, um, let's say, Christmas sale going on, uh, which ties um, recorded answer to one question to the 20 minutes um, live reading, which means that as soon as you purchase a 20 minutes live reading, then you do have one free recorded answer to a, a question that you may have after the reading takes place. <clears throat> so that being said, going to the tarot reading first here now, we have four cards spread and the first card for you Virgos, which marks the topic of your month, that is to be the Queen of Pentacles. So for what it seems, this month you are, uh, this, the topic of your week, excuse me, I don't know what I'm talking about here. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> The topic of your week, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles represents your, um, how can I place it, uh, your devotion to make something really, really right throughout the specific week. So that card is uh, like a, uh, uh, the manifestation of this card points that you are doing a specific agenda, un undertaking, business, project, a relationship, you name it, and still there is what to be unfolded, what to be advanced into that specific field. Therefore, throughout this uh, particular week, you are to start exploring the unexplored uh, possibilities and the unexplored um, <clears throat> options available in the framework of the already current undertaking going or project going you know or relationship going etc etc so what is that card pointing here guys is that you are to uh, sprout um, your <clears throat> How can I place it? Your, uh, your current field of expertise or kind of like, you know, the current field that you're working upon. As until this very moment, you may thought, let's say, that you have reached the maximum that you could have with that project or with that relationship. Well, guess what? You were wrong and you are to find how wrong you were uh, when that week starts, um, starts ticking and... <clears throat> along the road going forward you are to see that there is a, a huge potential in what you are doing in general but what is important here with the queen of pentacles is to give is to give no room for coincidences to happen i mean everything needs to be taken by your hands and needs to be uh, cultivated if i may say that way and it's very important as well that you need to guard your ground when we're talking about that card i mean you need to place accurate value to, uh, to whatever you are developing and to whatever you are unfolding. A very potent card for those who opened businesses recently. I have a very good friend, um, Virgo, that opened a, a business recently. And for what it seems, this card points that the business is to take off fairly, fairly soon throughout this say, uh, particular week. And... Uh, <clears throat> The next card that we do have, this is the core of the situation, and that is the Ten of Pentacles, and it gets even better and better. So why we do have the, queens, the Queen of Pentacles? Well, because you have invested into the right direction, is what the Ten of Pentacles points. You did it the right way, is what I'm trying to say here. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles also points that you have done it with uh, the least possible uh, strings and attachments that you could have in that specific time. That could be 
be a loan from the bank, you know, or a loan from people, or kind of like uh, attracting investors as well, or basically being in a, a business relationship with someone. What this car is pointing is that uh, these uh, attachments that you have done and these means that you have taken so you can open your business or so you can uh, start developing that undertaking or so you can be in that relationship you wanted here, uh, they were the right thing to do. I mean, they were the least devil that you could have uh, make a pact with if I may express myself that way so if that is a about a loan from the bank a mortgage that was the best mortgage possible that you could have uh, made as a deal in any bank that it is available in your country for example <clears throat> And also the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, in generally points that your investments were accurate, you know, your investment with, with the least money possible, you have achieved the maximum out of those money uh, possible, or you are to achieve the maximum out of those money possible throughout the duration of this week, November uh, 12th to November 18th. 2018 and the next card that we do have this is to be the challenges which are causing predicaments here that will be the princess of cups or the page of cups as well um, there was a person saying that princess is different than the page actually it isn't now it this is not the traditional deck and in this deck the pages are the princes. So princess of cups or a page of cups. Well, what that card points is that you are to find it very difficult, however, to think of how that business or how this undertaking or how this relationship is to expand. Now what you need to know here is that a positive change is looming on the horizon. It is yet far away, all right, but still um, if you kind of be capable to listen to the universe you are agile with your mind you're open-minded in other words and you're very good at reassessing your positions and being able to adapt yourself to the situations you are to start preparing for the change that it is coming for a, a quite early stages which is going to serve you in a, a great way moving on forward <clears throat> Uh, how can I place it moving on forward uh, with your future so what the challenge is to be here you know is to kind of like have that uh, how can I place it that kind of a uh, healthy sense of mistrust that yeah now everything is going all right you know and probably is going it's exceeding your expectations at that specific point but this isn't going to be for a lifetime and you need to take certain precautionary measures in case you know uh, shits hit the fan and something goes wrong here and there and etc etc so uh, what what the challenge again is going to be is you having your guard up even though that guard up is not going to be required throughout this say a particular week but uh, at the same time uh, it's just don't get yourself way too comfortable all right because as you are developing an undertaking or an enterprise or a project etc etc there is always challenges and predicaments that come around and if you have your guard down they may catch you unprepared and who knows that could be a, a crucial for your development and as we can see here your development is just starting to take off one thing I want to say for those who are dealing with relationships here, the Page of Pentacles uh, expresses the emotional connection, so you may find it very difficult to have the emotional connection running um, in that specific point, but that is not really required, having all the pentacles around. I mean, what what is important for a certain relationship to happen at this stage, having these cards, first is the liberty that you do have in between you and the partner, or in between you and the suitor that is up from the most importance because through the liberty comes also the trust that you are to exert into one another and uh, <clears throat> the uh, the queen of pentacles also points that this week is going to be the week where you are to seal that relationship in a sense of that you are to consolidate it and the last card that we do have this is the guidance that you should run with uh, moving on forward and that is the ten of uh, the ten of wands so it's about responsibilities it's about not walking away from a, a a big opportunities as well just because you think that those big opportunities are, are to overwhelm you um, in a specific points so that they or they are a, a very big piece to swallow uh, you may find yourself afraid to invest in those specific opportunities. In that specific case, uh, the Ten of Wands comes as a uh, awesome um, 
awesome option available that one can that one can take yeah it's going to involve you pleasing this person and that person in a certain way you know acting like they want you to act but that will not be without having a the benefits from it just just to give you an example, you know, uh, if your boss wants you to do something in a specific way that does not go against your code of conduct and does not infiltrate or kind of interfere with your project, if you do it, then they are going to be pleased and they are to help you with whatever you are trying to develop here with the Queen of Pentacles and with the Ten of Pentacles. If you please, for example, a, a friend of your suitor or a friend of your uh, partner into relationship, in any way, for example, they ask you to do something for them and you do it, <laughs> then this is going to reflect positively on the relationship as well. Uh, in many ways, the very least, that friend of your suitor or of your uh, romantic partner is to take your stand when it's needed. <clears throat> So that was the uh, tarot reading and quite powerful one I could say here. It, it does look like the things are, are to go very well throughout this week for you, uh, Virgus. Uh, let me shuffle the Lenormand cards now. They are to show us a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. Now the first card that we do have, this is the tower. Now the tower stands for government, institution, isolation or seclusion and business. This is the third stand for. Then we do have the stork. The stork stands for new beginning, it stands for delivery, it stands for birth as well. So we do have a new business taking off here for what it seems. And the last one we do have the male or that is a gentleman. So that could be a business meeting with the, with the gentleman that it is a new one coming in. Or it could be, well, the way that I am seeing it as well, if that is taken as a seclusion and isolation, that could be something going out from a, from a jail, something that you are expecting to be released. Is going to be released throughout this week or a, a government institution is going to um, <clears throat> give you what you need through a, a government agent here which is the man and uh, in general very uh, very kind of a, a positive um, outlook is what we do have but uh, the tower and the stork points mainly that a business uh, ventures and business undertakings are to start taking off throughout this week <clears throat> with the help of a, a male. So that being said, uh, Virgos, uh, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 12th to November <clears throat> 18, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, this was just a general reading for Virgo star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, here I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.